right? Or if you want to open something, or if you want to say, right, export, import diagrams, right? For example, if you want to export diagram as a format of JPEG, right, or PNG, or SVG and all everything, we can do it. Right? Or else if you want to import any information from that, so that can be done. You can print pre of executed. This is all file kind of stuff. Next, edit. Edit is an option where we want to edit. Whatever the way we see in uh, edit word files and all that thing, the same thing will be followed here, right? So nothing much different. Here it is a format, right? Format means you need to edit that and all, right? So that is not required also. Now here you have an option called model, right? Model. So here, whenever you want to develop any kind of diagram, so these we have to select. Add diagram, right? Add diagram, if you click add diagram, you see on the left hand side, there is a toolbox, isn't it? Right, you can see a toolbox here. So this toolbox usually changes, depends on the diagram what we are choosing. For example, if you are choosing class diagram, the toolbox will be something relating to the classes class diagrams to related stuff. For example, if you are choosing a diagram, something like flowcharts, all that, right? So for example, object diagram you're using, right? Or is component diagram you're using? What are the different, different uh, means related stuff will be shown there. So whatever the diagrams they want to use, absolutely of their choice, means their uh, people choice, it's absolutely. If they want to prepare flowcharts, the flow diagram will be there. Right, so normally this is UML and all everything. The star UML is a software which is majorly used to prepare UML diagrams, even uh, rational rows also. But Visio is a tool which is being not only for UML diagrams, there even non IT people also use this like uh, people who are from civil, right? Civil construction, all that, right? They want to prepare a layout plans. Uh, at the same time, mechanical people, electronic people, because electronic people wants to design some circuit, like circuits on it. So it's a tool. Of course, it's powered by Microsoft Corporation, MS Visual. People use this. Even non it people also use this. But UML diagrams and all, we have rational rows, star UML, all these can be used. And Lucid charts used for not only for UML, you can use it for other purposes also. That's a different story. Now here you can see an option called model. Right, model. In this add diagram, I'm just choosing an option called use case. Right, use case. Use case is the first and foremost diagram which will be prepared when you want to develop an application. Right, use case. Use case means how externally the primary objects looks like. Now I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take an ATM system. What is ATM system? ATM system automatic teller machine where we use this for deposits, withdrawal, all that. Now, assume you guys are not aware of ATM system at all, right? How it functions externally. In, I'm not talking about the internal aspect, right? How, how it functions externally. Assume that you are not aware of. To explain that, generally, there is a diagram which explains you about use case. Use case diagram explains about all this to you in detail. Now, if you want to prepare a diagram first, first of all, there are different different options you can see, right? Use case, actors, all that. Now, you are the one who is going to write, develop this diagram, right? So first of all, you have to explain how the ATM system looks like externally, right? This is what the explanation you want to give. Being a uh, being a designer or being a person who is designing it what is the first thing you do first of all you have to select who are users who are end users right end users for the atm system first that clarity we must be having normally this will be under three different columns one is user column it means there will be no columns i'm just explaining for your better understanding one is column first column will be used for uh, users second column is ATM system third column is end user means connectivity and connectivity is server okay now for example who are users there will be three users for ATM system one customer second person who deposit the cash in an ATM machine third ATM technician if any problem arises for that so that person will be taken care of now 
whoever are using this application end users will be called as actors actors you can see an option called actors here right actor first actor is customer right customer is the first actor second who will be the other actor here uh, cash deposit person right who deposit the cash means if there uh, this third party vendors will be there right who de who deposit cash who fill the cash on that right so that person next third atm technician i can say right? if any problem arises this he will be taking care of this right so these are the three different people you can see customer second cash deposit person third atm technician right three people will be there now what customer can do customer can log customer will log in he deposit money he withdraw money all that right here you have an option called use case right so we have to click on this use case click here how many activities they perform those many use cases you have to prepare this is the second column right first column users second column atm mission right this is for better understanding i am saying as column right so second column will be for atm system right using this atm system customers login customer can login customer can deposit cash customer can cash withdraw sorry right so customer can deposit cash customer can with the okay so three use cases customer login cash deposit cash withdraw. what cash deposit person do filling cash That cash deposit person fill the cash. Now, what ATM technician do? Troubleshooting. If any problem arises, troubleshooting will be taken care of by ATM technician. Right? So, these are the things which will be taken care of by these people, right? Customers cash deposit person ATM technician now if they want to perform these activities through an ATM system what is required they must be connecting to the bank server properly right so without connecting to the bank server they are not they cannot work on it. so this is where actor come into picture actor bank server is also an actor here. bank server is also an actor here now what a customer can do customer can log in isn't it right so here you have an option called directed association so where this directed association we have to drive from inside to here customer can log in cash deposit person cash deposit person can fill the cash even ATM technician can troubleshoot the thing. 
Now, ATM technician wants to troubleshoot what is that they require. They have to connect to the bank server. Same generic association. You can use it for actor to use case, use case to actor, right? So troubleshoot. A cash filling person wants to wants to wants to uh, do to fill the cash and all. They have to log into the bank server, right? So they have to connect to the bank server for sure. Now, in customer wants to deposit cash or withdraw cash they have to connect to the system right so they have to connect to the system right log into that connect to the system but if you want to deposit cash or withdrawal what is required you need to have a proper connect of login isn't it right so here you have an option called dependency where this cash deposit whatever the cash deposits we are talking about at the same time whatever the cash do cash withdraws must have a proper connect of login unless until if you are not logging in properly this cash deposit in cash withdraws cannot be done so this is where an option called dependency so if you want to withdraw cash or deposit cash you need to you need to have an option or you have to deploy you have to depend on login process for sure this is how externally a simple use case diagram which i have prepared you this is externally which an use case diagram is being prepared for prepared for atm system means if you want to explain you are a business analyst if you want to explain how an atm system looks functions outside externally this is how generally the visualization of the diagram using use case which we prepare for a better understanding.